Hey there guys, um, Bosco Piper UK. Um, today I uh, came home from work and was very pleasantly surprised to see a delivery from the Dagna Pipe Shop. Um, I'm not going to do a box opening, I've taken the stuff out. Um, and I have in there, or I should have in there, a um, the new P5 um, stunted poker. Um, at the same time, I decided to buy um, some vanilla cream from McBaron. Um, as uh, many of you might know, I've not gotten on with any kind of Virginia tobaccos, although most blends have got some in there, but um, this one's got quite a bit more Virginia in there. Um, and being a reverse calabash, um, the new P5s, I, uh, well, some of them, um, I wanted to see if that made any difference. Um, I, I know... Um, uh, that um, although reverse calabashes are supposed to cool down the smoke, um, I am not expecting miracles, but um, I'd like to see if there is some kind of difference. Um, so that's uh, the vanilla cream which I've counted into um, a mason jar. So I'm gonna uh, put some of that into the new pipe and uh, we'll see how that smokes. Um, so first and foremost, let's just uh, have a look at the pipe. So there's the uh, carbon fibre band, that's very very nice, look at the grain on that, look at the grain on that, nice spider's web uh, grain there, got the new style logo, Dagna custom design pipes, on both sides, oh by the way this is the grey, limited edition grey version. Dagna pipes P5 16 2016 custom design. It's nice and light. Um, I haven't weighed it. I'm not sure what the weight is, but it does feel light. It's certainly lighter than that one over there, which I'm going to take out in a minute. Um, I'd say this is about four and a half inches, maybe five inches long, uh, maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarters high, uh, three quarter inch diameter bowl. It's quite a shallow bowl, it's not the deepest bowl in the world, which suits me absolutely down to the ground because um, I prefer to have um, shorter smokes. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, reverse calabash design. Quite a loose fit, and as Jason said in his recent clip, the walls on the shank are really, really thin, so people will have to be careful about that and uh, perhaps not use it. Um, as a shot pipe because that's gonna if that drops or if that gets bashed with tools or anything like that mm, might be vulnerable to uh, um, to getting damaged so that's the reverse calabash there and uh, yeah so it'll be interesting to see how what effect that has on the smoke really nice tight looking pipe um, I suppose the overriding uh, standout feature of this pipe is the marriage of uh, modern materials, modern design, modern technology, the carbon fiber, uh, together with the tradition, the age-old tradition of pipe smoking. Um, and um, I think that's a blend which has been uh, um, carried out very, very well on this pipe. Um, sometimes it all looks a bit contrived, but I think, um, as Jason's uh, put it himself, that his inspiration came from his motorbike um, and the various parts on his motorbike. I think it works. Um, and I think people, I'm not a biker myself, but I think bikers and pipe smokers, um, for them, this is a dream. This is a marriage made in heaven. They've got both of their lifestyle hobbies, motorbiking and uh, pipe smoking, um, in one nice, concise tool. Um, and that's really amazing. Um, and I think that was the dream um, and the intention of the Dagners and I think they've succeeded and I think they've succeeded supremely well um, and I think there's going to be a lot of people after this. I think that perhaps in the future, um, as funds allow, I might go for one of the non calabash reverse calabash ones and see what the structure of the shank is. I assume it's going to be similar to any other normal pipe which is non-reverse calabash. Um, and that's obviously something which time will tell how that stands up to daily or regular use. 
Um, so if we have a brief look at the lump of coal Santa the Christmas poker from last year um, I, I did a review of well not a review just my observations <coughs> excuse me um, on it's on my YouTube channel um, this pipe I was extremely impressed with this pipe um, even though it's uh, you wouldn't call it a, an artisan carved pipe it's 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 more of a factory pipe but the quality of it I was um, very very impressed by in my uh, limited knowledge of uh, pipes um, very very well made very precise it's got a good heft to it feels good very very good smoker I've, I've really enjoyed smoking it and it's made it's got a really good fit it's just made extremely well every aspect of this pipe is is just perfect um, and there's no expense spared I would say when comparing it to the other pipe, I would say that this one is obviously designed to have a, a um, to be lighter, more compact, and it certainly had a lighter touch in terms of its design. Um, it's lighter in weight, and you know this kind of um, sort of thin walls. This weighs very little, um, and I suppose that's part of the design, the modern design, to keep it contemporary and to have that sort of blend of uh, modern uh, mod modernness together with the tradition so it would need to have that kind of light clean cut clean lines touch to it um, and as I said I think that succeeds very well um, what remains to be seen is how well it smokes so we'll set that aside for a second and I will um, I didn't bring my card out with me And I haven't set this out to dry either. Although this is um, this vanilla cream has come very pretty dry and brittle actually, so it probably needs a little bit of rehumidifying for a while. You can see the golden virginias in there, very very prominent. So I'm quite um, apprehensive about this because I've really really struggled since day one with the virginias. Oops, wrong one. That's my Mr. Grog lighter. I'm not getting a great deal of vanilla through this, to be honest, but that's probably because I've got a cold. Well, um, it would be ridiculous for me to uh, have an opinion after about 30 seconds of smoking it, but um, with Virginia blends that I've smoked before, I would get tongue bite almost immediately, which hasn't happened so far. I'm loving the uh, room note. This reminds me of what, before I started smoking a pipe, of what the smell of pipe smoking was there. Um, that really sweet, spicy kind of smell. Um, aroma and um, that's quite nice. Uh, I'm not really getting the vanilla very much at the moment, but um, no doubt that taste will intensify once I uh, manage to clear my cold. Um, so all in all, I think this is, uh, has been a great success for uh, the Dagners, another line of pipes. Um, I think that um, um, Jason deserves all the success that he gets. He's put in a lot into the community. He's probably taken out less than he's put in and um, he's worked really hard to uh, try and bring something different to the game. Um, I think this line is certainly different. Um, he's managed to capture something unique um, and, um, and uh, he's done a great job with that and he deserves every success that he gets with it. So I wish everybody well um, and um, I sincerely hope that uh, I hope that he sells out of all of his uh, inventory very quickly and um, no doubt there'll be more lineups in the pipeline. pipeline.
and we look forward to seeing those. So thanks everybody for uh, watching. Have a great day and keep it real.